Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond? Where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Welcome home. 